is definitely more loose than his standard. Yeah. Uh, what am I typing in? That's true, Stores. I do have a brain implant. That makes me feel pain when I lose. When you get hit. It's like rumble. I mean, maybe that's something Caleb should look into. I actually do feel a pain deeper than physical pain when I get hit. Yeah. It's, uh... Wait, See that is, uh, by the way? Is this... W this is a loser's match, right? Yeah, this is a loser's... Semis, I assume? Semis. I guess... It, man, that was just his loser's cause. Oh, that was when his finals. Oh, I don't know yeah. that. Misleading for the crowd. Uh... The music is so loud in this headset. I don't know, talk to the boss, I don't know. Could you put that mic close to enough so I can hear more of you and less of the music? Yes. Thank you. Okay. So this loses semis, you reckon? I'm just gonna put in semis and we'll, uh... So in my opinion, Muscat is the heavy favorite going into this. Yeah? Yeah. He certainly does seem to be uh, more consistent, more, just more practiced, just better. He's really good, man. Yeah. So it's really good recently. It'd be interesting to see how he goes against Kai. If Kai wins and goes into Grands, I'm going to try and beat him with Fox as well. Just to own him a little bit more. Because <laughs> he was already pretty owned by the Falco dealers. But he, there's always potential to get more owned in this life. I mean, it's not something you really want to be encouraging. You've got young, impressionable players like Storzy in the chat. The thing, about, the thing about being owned is, like, being owned, you know how when you go to, like, the gym, yeah. you let me go to the gym, yeah. and you work out, Yeah. But you know when you work out? Yeah, we, okay. Hypothetically. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in the gym, I'm working out. When was the last time you were in the gym? Uh, I don't remember. So Actually, no, it was, um, so you've heard that's technically, uh, whatever, I don't remember. When was the last time you lifted weights for the purpose of gaining strength? Um, it's probably a few months ago. That's cool. So you know, back then, the next day maybe you felt a little bit sore in your muscles. Yeah. But that was because in life and in muscle growth, you have to experience pain in order to experience gains. Yeah, and but so you maybe don't have being to make owned it. mentally is like a, but you like don't a delayed onset muscle soreness in the brain. It's it's a necessary evil, right? But you don't go out of your way to make it more painful for yourself. In fact, you do the opposite. Like, you, you, you do certain precautions to make sure you don't hurt yourself too badly while doing it. No, no, no. Kai in his post-loss routine has to mitigate the ownness. But the amount of ownness that happens in the... Like when you're working out, you don't you don't try and get yourself hurt, but you will. Can you, you turn will... the game audio down? Let me do that. I don't know. I can't help you with that. I don't know how to do that. Hello. Game audio. It's too loud. Okay. The, point, too loud the point is, the point is, when people work out, they don't intentionally. They're not trying to get hurt. It's just they will be sore. They will be sore, but they often often will try and mitigate how sore they will be. They don't try and like in, embrace it. That's what I'm saying. But they don't try to mitigate it within the work. Like they they still yeah. like lift as much weight as they can in the game. You know? Right. They they and accept then afterwards, it. They don't accept it. That's like part of the appeal, right? Is that you're gonna experience growth as a result of the torn muscle today. The, the, the pain isn't generally part of the appeal unless you're a certain kind of person. No, but it's necessary. Yeah, I know it's necessary. So I'm saying I'm going to own Kai in game, and then afterwards he can mitigate it, you know, however he likes. Right. But I'm saying you should, you don't need to try ownage. and maximize the ownage, because it's not one-to-one -one with the growth. There we are. Adjust. Yeah, but the point is, you don't, when, when you're working at the gym, you're not trying to maximize the, the bad feelings. You're just accepting that you will be experiencing some pain. Yeah. But you often try and still, you know, still do the workout, but try and, like, you know, you'll you'll get, like, a massage or something afterwards or yeah, you'll well, stretch just, beforehand, right? You're now is the time for Kai to get a massage, not during the set. Okay. He should get as owned as possible during the set. My, the point is, like, no, but the point is that being <laughs> owned is not necessarily... No, but it, it, there's, you could, there's you a could, positive relationship between how owned you are and how much gain you I think. Accumulate. I think the thing, is, the thing I want to say about you owning people is you could be nicer about it. You don't have to, you don't, you don't have to I yourself. Don't I, was, I don't think I was mean. The way yeah, the language you're using is what I'm talking about. Well, the, own, the ownage has already been performed. 
it's the language. It's the way you talk about it. Like if you if you play him and you beat him, it's like okay, <laughs> all right, that's fine. But then you're like owned kid, and you like do <laughs> gang signs. I am like face. that. You don't need to do that, right? <laughs> I was throwing up a lot of. Gang that's signs. just that's just that's like <laughs> Honestly, that's like seeing someone. I didn't even know before. That's like that's like being in a competition with someone like to wait to, to you know lift weights, and you lift like a couple more than him, and you, you won the you won the weight. No, it's like I am then the Then you come weight. over. It's like I am the weight, and a guy doesn't lift me. And I'm like suck it, right. idiot. And then, and then and then he, and then he drops. No, but the the suck it, idiot part is when he drops it and like falls on his arm, and he and he hurts. Like he didn't no, have that part. Didn't have that. Nothing I did in the game or during the set was BM. It's out of the game, is what I'm talking about. Yeah, but it was after the set. It's saying this it's whole, after he's put the weight down. Yeah, if you, after he puts the weight down, it rolls off and like lands no, on his foot. It's like a it's like a that doesn't help a him. weight, right? You lift it, and if you don't, if you get less than your goal lifting weight, it yells out a message at you and says, "You suck, kid. You yeah, lifted you're, more yesterday, idiot." Yeah, that part That's isn't necessary. Bro. That's <laughs> Not that's, to every, not, that's basically not, what a personal trainer is. <laughs> not to everybody. <laughs> personal trainers will deliver messages in a variety of manners, in which way they think is effective. They won't just blindly be negative. Whatever, man. Some people don't respond well to that kind of pressure. Anyway, Florat's won game one, but he's down in game two. Nice adaption by Musket. Good stage choice as well by Musket. Yeah. What do you think he's doing differently? I think he's just, you know, playing a little bit more custom. Last game was a bit too standard. No, I actually feel he's sta he's playing a lot more standard this game. Yeah. yeah. You don't think uh, custom problems require custom solutions? <laughs> I do, but I don't know whether Florence is actually giving any oh, custom problems. You don't problems. think that forward tip was custom? I think that was standard. Oh, man. Oh, that, dash is, well, that was very custom. Yeah. Seeing a shield and then dash tag anyway is custom. That certainly <laughs> is not the standard the approach. The standard is to not do that. <laughs> or at least it's not conventional wisdom. Maybe the standard is to do that. Oh, that was are. a... He, he walked up slowly. That was a little bit custom. Yeah, a little bit custom. <laughs> I mean, what if he... Uh, he could have done... He could have pivoted for extra damage. Yeah, he could have been more custom. No. Oh my. I don't think that back air was wise. It certainly wasn't standard. Like, cause if it, even if it hit... It, it would have gotten him like 7% and then Fox probably could have punished him. You know, like, even without Crouch Cancel, it wouldn't have been good. Oh, Bit of a read there. When people start ASDI down to teching against being tech chased by Florets, Florets is going to go down like 20% win rate yeah. against Spacey's. Because he does that so much. Uh, and he like cannot re-grab. Yeah, he like has nothing on tech chase. He either like covers rolls or up smashes. I mean, he doesn't want to be too much of a nerd, you know. Boom, shakalaka. Damn. The disrespect. Bibbity bobbity, get out of my stockity. Damn. That's a wild, that's kind of a wild mare, I think. Like, you like, gotta do something to live with that. Yeah. He, the like, F tilt might have been wilder. Yeah. Well, it's just like, wilder. he was like, oh, this guy's, this guy's definitely gonna spot the I mean, jump. I'm gonna throw out this freaking nair. Look how Ready lame and face. safe Flo is playing right now. Oh, that was that right. was big. That could be everything. Yeah, that's why he was playing so trying to play so safe. It's because of this. He oh. takes so dead? much damage so quickly. Wow, you that's die. Some bullshit. Nah. That is a bullshit up there. Yeah. <laughs> this game is shit. This is a yeah. shit game. Let's play a different game. Let's play Skullgirls, a game devoid of. Devoid, <laughs> devoid of good. I don't know. Skullgirls, uh, you can tell it was made by people who cared a lot about fighting games and were big fans of the series. Big let's, fans of the let's genre, just play da uh, David Serlin play to win card game. Oh, yeah, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's what it's called. <laughs> we could play Fantasy Strike. A game with no bullshit. Yeah. Let's just play chess, honestly. Except black is kind of not as bullshit anyway. Yeah. White is bullshit. Definitely. <laughs> All right, maybe you just got to adapt, customize your approach if you're playing black. That's true. You do get to you, you do get a little bit of recon on what your opponent's doing. Yeah. <laughs> read all. Read you get all a the good notes. idea of what their strategy is. A little bit earlier, it's black and chess. Adjust your glasses. Exactly. Ooh. And the get other person's timer starts earlier as well. Oh, get owned. Well, he's kind of playing good. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't play this good against my folks. I mean, maybe you were doing something different that stopped that from happening. Or maybe he's just found a new after he's found a new mental state of being. He's adapted. He's customized his approach. He's evolved. Florets evolved. Oh, that's he's the leveled clean up. two needles. I don't know why he didn't have charged needles. Well, you know, 
Maybe Sometimes. it was some like he was edge guarding on the last. He was he was spending the uh, he was spending the time he could have been charging. He was charging his uh, brain. Oh, that's an amazing up smash. Oh, he could have two options. Oh wow, so, so much respect that he didn't even punish the blocks. Move. Yeah. You should never punish a player who you respect. Yeah, just never do it. Because you it's never know, rude. they probably meant to do that. <laughs> they probably, probably expecting a, a punish. It's probably a setup. <laughs> Don't even try it. Oh, risky. I mean, it doesn't seem like you risk it that much. Yeah, but the risk is not getting the edge guard. Yeah, I mean, that's a kind of a common risk to a lot of edge guards. Well, you could have to. <laughs> Oh, he, could have taken, a, he could have covered more and at the same time, you know what I mean? Well, he's still taking a risk either way. He just had to find the risk he was willing to take. Ooh, oh, my. Some galint right there. Absolutely galinted out of his That, that was, uh, I mean, it happened. You gotta, you gotta accept that and move on if you're, if you're that fox. Yeah, you got red. You know, sometimes you get red in this leg. <laughs> sometimes you down it and it just, you get hit by it. Oh, wow. Do you think it was a red? I mean, I get it was a read, but like. Oh, Flowey's a machine. He's I a madman. He's a crazy person. It was that that down. It was definitely a read, but I think it probably you know I think both players kind of knew what was going on there. You know what I mean? They both had each other read, but somehow Florets came out on top. The thing is, it's it's a big move, and it's kind of hard to be with up air. You're better off like up tilting or waiting on the ground. Mm. But Musky wanted to end it right there, so he yeah. went for an up air. Didn't want the standard response. I think the thing is, when you're as down as Musk was last game, you go for options that are all or nothing, because like, you need to have some bounce to go way anyway. You could do that, that's one approach. You can also just play better. Yeah, but that's an, that's At the end of the day, step. you have to make some commitments. Like, you have to take risks in the game. I mean, you're more inclined to take risks when you're down or up significantly, I think. Or when you're down specifically. Do you think there's ever, like... I think there's ever like ever a game we 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 take no risks. Maybe like against a low tier or something. Yeah. In the right stage. Like if there was hypothetically a character that only had one move and like you could always crash cancel grab it, yeah. then you could win with like no risk. Yeah. Even though you would be taking percent, there's like no risk that you would lose. Yeah, because you can always crash cancel it. That character wouldn't be very good. But. Oh, mate, it's just a hypothetical. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the kind of thing. He's going for these aerials that, like... Low percent, man. Even when they hit, in that in that percentage of that scenario, it's just this time must be... At this time ready of the it. year. This time of day? Aurora Borealis. On this part of the stage? <laughs> On this transformation? You know my friends had a quiz team called the Steam Hands in 2011. In 20 what? That so predates the meme. The, were they, was it was they it like about the, the meme? Thing? Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> they just liked it, and then it became a meme. Oh man, it's kind of nuts. Yeah. I think uh, I used to. There was a brief like month or two of my life that I was part of a bowling team. A lawn bowls team, I think it was. You know, the, one where you, the one where you roll it down the lane, yeah. and like you, you mean, have to get it close to the thing. You it's mean like, it's every not, type of ball. You mean well, yeah, <laughs> it was rolling down the lane, but it was. I think it was lawn bowls because it's like it, we had to get close to the little ball yeah. with our balls. Could be. Yeah. Could be a variety of things. Could be bocce. Could be like any other kind of thing, you know. Yeah. It was basically my team was the only team of youngsters there. Everyone else was really old, uh, and we played in this league for a little bit, and we we, we came up with the team, the multicolored banana peels. Had nothing to do with anything, but we just thought it sounded cool. And then one year later, Donkey Kong 64 came out. I don't <laughs> think it was that long ago. I was pretty young, but yeah, it was me, my brother, my next door neighbor, and my stepbrother. Musky yeah. takes it. He does. Back to the match. Back to the match. Back away from the match. It's, it's now two two. Back to the set count. They, 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 uh, so Flareats won game one, and then they've just been winning on the counter picks. They've, so they've been going crazy on the counter picks. Statistically, Flareats will win this game. They've been crazy. They've been nuts. How many more counter picks has he got left? Flo's gonna go to Fountain, maybe. Fountain. I don't know. Ooh. It's hard to say. It's kind of a risk. Do you know I got um, uh, what's it called? Um, chlamydia. <laughs> no, uh, Robo Detted by Centrelink. I don't know what that ago. means. It means uh, some bullshit from like three years ago, which I don't actually owe, but it's very difficult to prove that I don't owe. And now, like, this debt collector is like, you have to pay, man. Bro. It's pretty lame. Huh. Like 600 bucks. I don't want to spend that much money on nothing. Why would you owe it? 
Uh, it's like a... So basically, for a, a while ago, they had like... They kind of like extrapolated your earnings over a short period to being over like the entire year. Uh, and then like calculated the uh, amount that you were entitled to from that. Whereas it's supposed to be like on a week to week basis. Right. So like if you if it's you were like, like on Centrelink for like half of the year and then worked for the second half or something. And you got paid during part of the Centrelink. They would be like, well that doesn't make sense. You were earning money all year. Even though you were only earning money like here. Like you did like a season job or something. Yeah. Two, two. So yeah, I think that's from like 2016. <clears throat> and like I don't have like pay slips. From, like I I have to like contact people and like bank and shit. And I'm pretty sure I changed bank accounts since then. It's annoying. Oh. Must get really breaking the curse here. That's Flowey. not a great. Flowey's looking uh, shook. <laughs> oh, he's all over him. Oh, that's a... What a read, dude. Oh, this time not respecting him. He's lost respect and he's just gonna punish yeah. out of shield. That's and that's what he gets. He gets hit for it. He should have shouldn't done it. Yeah. Should have just blocked and just rolled away. Respect your opponent, guys. Should have just rolled away. Oh, you gotta you gotta know that's coming. That's a hard one. It is a very low level. Oh. I think she can duck under it though. She can just ducked under like an up smash somehow. She's kinda flexible like that. How does she even crouch like that? Come to think of it, it's like really ridiculous. Yeah, no, no, no human would crouch that way. Like, look at Captain Falcon. Even he kind of crouches a little bit strange, but it's much more. Oh, he had, he had to go for it. It was all or nothing. Yeah, went for that risk. He was down. So what happens when you're losing? Mm. I always like to hear what Flores is, is saying after a set. Florence is not a salty guy, but in the one in the thirty seconds after a set, Florence is an extremely salty guy. I just said something about his hands, I and mean, yeah, he has been having issues with those. But I don't know uh, exactly what it was. All right now, uh, so Musket takes it. Loses finals now.